Hurricanes, or tropical cyclones, form over oceans in the autumn, when the seas have been warmed by the summer sun. When wind moves over the warm ocean towards an area of low pressure, water begins to evaporate and rise into the atmosphere. As it rises, the water vapour condenses to form clouds. Condensing releases the heat that has been stored in the water vapour, which warms the air around it. The warm air rises and creates a column of clouds with an area of low pressure beneath it. Surrounding air rushes in to fill this pocket of low pressure, creating a cycle of winds and a cluster of thunderclouds called a tropical disturbance. When the wind speed reaches 39 miles per hour, the system is classified as a tropical storm and is given a name to help meteorologists identify it. If the storm encounters a particularly warm patch of ocean, that can be enough to turbocharge the system to become a hurricane. The winds twist around the eye of the storm. This is known as the Coriolis effect and is caused by the force of the Earth's spin. It can only happen between 5 and 15 degrees latitude either side of the equator. The eye is surrounded by a vertical wall of intense rainstorms called the eye wall. The winds around the eye wall are strong enough to blow a house away. As a hurricane approaches land, the disturbances it has made in the water cause the sea level to rise. When it reaches land, this becomes a storm surge, a body of water that floods the coastline and can travel many miles inland. Once a hurricane reaches land, it can travel hundreds of miles, causing huge damage. But without the warm ocean to fuel it, it will eventually dissipate. <laughs>